Hello everyone, welcome back. Mansion tour. <laughs> it's silly walk. All right, we are running out. <laughs> no, we are running out of um, health. Is there anything that we can do about that? I read that that's actually a glitch. That oh my god, that you're not supposed to. Uh, you're not su that, that the blue fairy is supposed to heal us, but. That didn't happen, so now we're gonna die, I think. It's, it's gone, it's gone. I don't want... I don't want you near me. Go away, that's not the door to the library. You're floating! Oh my god. Is this the door to the library? I put my hand on the handle on, of the door to check if the door is open. To my surprise, it really opens. Was the door maybe open when the shadow chased me? The shadow is coming! Whew! Wow, this place looks surprisingly nice. At least in comparison to the other rooms here. And of course, the first thing that happens to me here is a shadow running into me. We don't have that much health. Can we? We can't even escape. Magic. Healing chant. Whew. Well, that was something. Alright, so let's you that there. Um we have to guard now. And then we can hit you and hopefully you will die. Yeah, you will die. Oh, 31 damage. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. You know what? I'm gonna heal. So we get our HP back. We're gonna guard. And we're gonna fight you with the fireball magic. Goodbye. Mickey won. Oh, wow, sister. The way you handled that shadow was really impressive. Thank you. I guess I'm getting better. I think so. The shelf is stacked with books. The shelf is stacked with books. The shelf is stacked with books. This is a photo book. In it are a lot of pictures of two women. Sometimes there are also some fairies on there. I think I've also seen these women on other pictures in this house. Interesting. The shelf is stacked with books. There's a spider sitting on his chair. I guess it's already taken. Yeah. Children's books and books about the economy are lying on the floor. Shelf is stacked with books. Oh, there's a lot more here. Here are some old Sudoku books on the table. The big book of Sudoku. Looking through the it. It seems like every page was already solved. I don't know what the it is, but it's fine. A fresh flower? It seems someone put it there recently. Oh, hey. In this spot lies a sleeping fairy. Wake her up? Yes. Sister, are you alright? Please wake up. Gods, quit your yapping. Groggily, the green fairy stands up and takes a look at the other fairies. Ah, you two are alright. That's good news. I was nearly worried about you. Us too? So glad you're safe. Oh, I've seen better days. That's good enough for you. Sister, look here. We also found a new sister on our way here. A uh, new sister? Are you talking about the halfling behind you? Huh? S sister's a halfling? Ah, that explains a lot. Like how she's so big. So untrained or... Oh, she has a brother. What's a halfling? I uh, see she's not only untrained, but also uneducated. The very rude fairy stares at me for a while. I start feeling more and more agitated. Even her own sisters start distancing themselves. Maybe I should also just go? Just before I start asking another question, she starts saying something. If they say you're a sister, I will accept that. I like your hair. Oh, uh, thank you? To answer your previous question, 
There are roughly three types of fairies. Normal fairies, high fairies and halflings. Normal fairies are born when elements are imbued with a lot of magical energy. Magical energy? What's that supposed to be? Just a fancier way for magic. There are a lot of different types, but the most common type is natural energy. For example, this town gained a lot of magical energy this last decade, so a lot of fairies were born here. Oh, I see. Is there a reason for the increase of magical energy? Yeah, it's difficult to say. Maybe it's because there are a lot of supernatural beings in this town. But it could also be that these beings came to this place because of its magical energy. So it's the typical chicken or egg problem. Uh, what? Never mind that. What, what are the other things? Well, high fairies are like normal fairies, but their magical energy is so high that they're able to live up to 10 times as long as normal fairies. So they're called high fairies because their magical energy is high? Correct. That yeah, and because they're bigger than normal fairies, so they have to fly up higher in order to be high of high. Uh, what? Just a joke. Halflings are only partially fairy. Most often it's half fairy, half human. So I'm a half fairy? Oh, not quite. Don't really think that there's a lot of fairy in you. But for some reason, you have a real talent for magic. Oh, I do? I guess I'll learn two spells in one day. <laughs> Remarkable. Let's turn that into three. Huh? Will you also teach me a spell? Yes. But not for free. Ugh. Should you be nicer to me? I helped your sister after all. They are also your sisters. Don't be mistaken. I'm only offering because you did that. Alright. Great. I'll teach you a spell if you play me a special composition on that piano. Alright, just give me the note sheets for that. They are somewhere in this house. Go find them. What? Why are they here? I'll answer that after you got them. Oh boy. The shelf is stacked with books. These books are about human anatomy. Very interesting considering that there are romance novels right next to it. Yeah, I can't get behind the couch. Oh. Sorry for just leaving, sister. It's just that our sister can get really scary sometimes, so it's better to distance yourself. Don't worry, it's fine. It's great. If you want, you can stay a bit and talk to me and Miss Spider here next to me. Uh, no, thank you. I really wish my sister would stop talking to random insects. Especially spiders. I know, right? Let's get the hell out of here. Can we even get out of here? The shelf is stacked with books, of course. Is it in this room? I don't think it's in this room. It should be somewhere in here, right? Old telephone. Cables are cut off. Yeah. Oh, what happened there? Started walking down. Uh, I am heading into this room. Whew, safety. The shelf is full of books. Is it the same? That's a spider web. They're all the same. So where could that um, sheet music be? Maybe here? Oh, they're probably the ones that Fairy meant. Yeah, it looks like it. W! What a surprise to see you here. Is it really though? I'm in every mirror after all. That's also true. So what's up? Hmm. Winnie still wasn't able to contact your parents, so I asked the Mirror Queen for help. Who is the Mirror Queen? Ah, yeah, she's the one in charge of the Mirror World. Here are not a lot of sentient beings, so we are pretty close. I see. Well, what's the Mirror World even like? Eh, it's nothing really special. There's a lot of reflections, memories, shadows, stuff. Not a lot of people to talk to. Is that the reason why you're so close to my brother? Do you think we're close? 
Obviously. He talks so much about you. Even I feel like I've known you for forever. Now, oh, what does he say about me? Hmm. He says the strangest things about you. How you force him to eat spicy food because you like seeing him choke on it. Or how you make him read you a bedtime story every night because you can't read. Or how you... Okay, stop it. This is getting embarrassing. You're not... You're not supposed to know so much about me. But why? As your newly appointed big sister, it is my duty to know a lot about you and embarrass you. My new big sis, huh? It sounds so funny. How do you even know that you're the older sister? Maybe I'm older than you. How old are you? I don't know. And that makes me the older sister by default. The girl in the mirror has to laugh at that statement, but even then, I feel like her eyes have gotten a little darker. Hey, is everything alright? Oh, yeah, it's just... Not that often that I am able to talk to other people. For you to be so nice to me. You even call me sister and stuff. Of course. I'm nice to you. You're someone who's very important to my brother and you have helped me so much this night. Without you I'd probably be dead meat to be fair. Uh, you would have figured stuff out. I stare at W. Unsure if I should ask her why she feels so insecure about me being nice to her. Maybe it's better if I change the topic. I remember that she said it's not often she talks to other people. That means she has talked to other people, right? Maybe that'd be a good topic. So, who else have you talked to already? However, that didn't seem to be the right question as W now looks to the ground with sad eyes. Well done, me. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it, it's fine. I, I guess I also tried talking to your parents some years ago. Your father just ignored me, but your mother just started screaming and denying my existence. What? It totally doesn't sound like her. She's normally such a nice person. Maybe. I guess she just doesn't like me. But whatever. I also don't like her. That is definitely not true. My mom is not so cruel to just scream at a child. There has to be a misunderstanding. If you say so. Alright, I talked to her about it. Huh? Shut it, you're my new little sister, so... You deserve to have a seat at our breakfast table too. Oh god, how embarrassing. I just said the next best thing that came to my mind. Well, I guess it seems to be working because W looks more surprised than sad right now. Let's keep going. I'll even buy you a little mirror for the table so you can look at all of us clearly. In fact, I'll tell my parents about you at the same time I'll tell them about my magical powers. Oh, you mean that way they'll be way too overwhelmed to deny my existence? Um, yes? <laughs> you really say whatever you want. With a little smile, W looks at me before pointing at the note sheets behind me. But before introducing me, she should probably take these and bring them to that fairy. Oh yeah, I nearly forgot. I'm really curious why she made me come down here to get them. There's probably a copy upstairs, even if she's denying it. I think she wanted to give you a way out. Huh? Why so surprised? Two little fairies had to depend on you, but this green fairy is way stronger than them. She'd probably be able to handle the remaining situation herself, so she sent you downstairs. That way you could just go with no one stopping you if this situation is too much for you. Huh? Now that you're saying it, it does make sense. I'd also prefer if you'd just go home, but I already know that you're not the type of person to just give up. So I'll just wish you good luck. You already know what type of person I am? Did Winnie tell you a lot about me too? What? J he stalked me? <laughs> Nothing. T time to go upstairs. Right. Hey, you know what? We're gonna do a little quick save Rooney there. Bada bing bada boo. And we're gonna head back towards the green fairy to see if this is actually... 
what what we what we want what the fairy needs hey mr fairy man where are you here i am with the note sheets yeah it took you a while but i'm glad you're back so do i have to play for you now or what uh, no, I changed my mind. I just wanted to have them here in the library. Tidiness is important to me. In regards to tidiness, this whole house is a lost cause. That was not always the case. Back when a young lady was still alive, she took very good care of this house. I feel like she's baiting me with this question. Whatever, let's just ask. The young lady? Who's that? I don't know if you know about it. Used to be, uh, used to leave people in this house a long time ago. I've heard of it. That was the Fager family, right? That's right. Except that was all a front for our business here. What? A front? Correct. Our boss poses the older sister and the young lady as the much younger sister. In reality, they were twins, though. But why were they lying like that? Uh, they wanted to do business with humans and introduce them to magical items. Mm, so they wanted to help humans? It's not the case. They were just curious how humans would react to them. So it was more like one of their little experiments. Well, this is very long time ago and the young lady is already dead. We should do our best to ensure our boss's safety. Don't want her to die at the same place as her twin. I see, of, of course. I I'll help you the best I can. But only for a price. How pesky. Seems like you learned from the best, hmm? Huh? What do you want? You still have to teach me a spell. Oh, that's right. Hmm. I think the thorn spell will be the most useful for you. Thorn spell? This name certainly doesn't live up to its usefulness. Don't be fooled, it's a strong spell that can attack multiple enemies. However, it's classified as offensive magic, which is why it can also be dangerous for a beginner like you. Uh, you mean because I have to take hits before using it? I already know that. That makes things easier. And with that, she closes in on me and explains the spell to me. She's very precise in her instruction, but it's still not easy for me to comprehend. The green fairy seems to notice this, so she slows down a bit and starts using simpler words. And that is the gist of it. I hope you were able to understand it. Yeah, I think I got it. Thank you for teaching me. It's no big deal, but we need to think about our next step. The last sister left is Boss. So she's probably in the room next to us. It's the last room left after all. That's not. There's still the basement. This house has a basement? Yeah. The entrance is located in the mirror room. The basement itself is also way bigger than this house. But it was closed off after a boss moved out of here. Oh, well, alright. So what's the room to the left? The bedroom? No, no. It's the prison. Why does this house have a prison? It was supposed to be for other fairies, but who aren't our sisters and are hostile towards us. However, now it seems like the shadows use that place to keep Boss as a hostage. I see. So what do we do now? Do you want me to distract the shadows in that room while you try to get your boss out of jail? After hearing my proposal, which contained things I'd never thought I'd say, the green fairy seemed like she wanted to protest at first. However, after thinking about it for a while, she looked at me silently. Um, everything okay? Quiet, I'm thinking about your proposal. It could be dangerous for you to try and take on all the shadows by yourself, but that should give us the perfect opportunity to free boss. Do you think you're able to act as a distraction for a while? If it's not too long, I think I'll be able to handle it. After all, it wasn't that hard to beat all the other shadows here. Alright, I trust you then. Don't worry, though. If things get too tough, we'll help you out. That's good to hear. Now let's go. 
Right. And that concludes this episode. So we're going to check out that prison in the future. Anyways, thank you very much for watching Mansion Tour. I'll see you next time.